welcome to another episode of All About a Fur Series, the series where we interview furries. Get to know a little bit more about the furry fandom, one fursuiter at a time. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's interview today's person we're interviewing. Yes, I am really happy to announce this week's interview. The person we're interviewing is none other than Amy Star. So, for those who don't know who Amy Star is, she is the maker of eh, these little guys. These are corgi bean plushies, also known as corgi beans, or just plushies, yes. So let's just set this plushie right there, yes. Storming stay. Yay, it stayed, yes, 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 yes. So, the first question I have for you, Amy, is a really obvious one, and a really one I'm really curious about, is what inspired you to make plushies? So, I've always been wanting to make plushies ever since I... I started making um, furry merch, which started out with t-shirts, but what really inspired me to really love plushies is uh, anime plushies. So I was really into anime before I became a furry, so whenever I went to anime conventions, I always wanted plushies, and I've always loved plushies in general. Once I started making merchandise, I uh, really wanted to make plushies, I just never thought that I could anytime soon because it costs a lot of money to get plushies made. So when I started making uh, merch for different content creators, uh, that's kind of where I started to experiment. I started to make t-shirts and then I made pop sockets and enamel pins. And then I was like, hey, can we try doing plushies? Illustrated a few concept pieces for uh, Beta Ada Delota, who is the first uh, furry that I made a plushie for, just what the first person I ever made a plushie for. So um, originally I had him drawing laying down and then it ended up I liked the sitting pose and that's kind of where it started. So now the second question I have for you, Amy Star, also known as Corgi Beans, also known as an amazing person, and that is, what is your favorite part about the furry fandom? Yeah. So I would definitely say my favorite part of the furry fandom is just how warm and welcoming the fandom is, how it can feel like a family, that I don't feel judged, that I can be myself, which I really never really had that. Um, I come from like a rough family situation, so I never really felt like I could be myself. They were very conservative, and I've always been really imaginative and creative and I always wanted to to um, make a living off my art and the fandom gives me that opportunity and encourages it for me and makes me feel understood and um, yeah I, that my favorite part of the fandom is how accepting and loving they are and how they feel like family to me and now the third question for you Amy is what was your most challenging plushie to make? And I hope it's not this little guy here. That would be sad. Well, um, let's see. As far as my physical ones that I have right now, I'm going to say uh, probably Omnom. Uh, unfortunately, we're not open for pre-orders yet, but maybe during this video we are. Uh, Omnom has a lot of interesting uh, details, especially the Fur. It was it was hard to find a fur that uh, was close to their actual like two tone um, bangs and whatnot. And uh, Omnom has some wings too, like underneath the arms. So that was also new. Oh oh, and also goggles. That's a new that that's new as well for me to make accessories like that that actually have like clear vinyl on the goggles. So yeah, I would say Omnom just because their design is quite complex compared to canine plushies that I've made before. Now the fourth question for you, Amy, is what is your favorite food? Yes. Uh, my favorite food? Oof, that's tough. I really love sushi. Um, uh, so, huh, that's hard. Cause I really, really, really love peanut butter. 
and uh, coffee. So, I mean, coffee is more of a beverage than a food, and peanut butter is kind of like a spread. So, it's hard to say. Um, so, if peanut butter can't be a, an actual food food, because it's not really a, a, a meal, then I would say sushi. I really love sushi. And now, the fifth and final question, yes, 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 for you, Amy, is... What is something positive that comes with being a plushie maker? Yes. Oh, uh, well, I think there's a lot of positive things. It makes me feel, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's been my dream to make merchandise that people actually love and want to buy and collect and things like that. Uh, just, just seeing people like posting pictures of their plushies and seeing them like really enjoying them and taking them on adventures and things like that just bringing positivity it, from just a cute little plush but you can feel it and see it every day and hug it just just being able to see people enjoying the plushies uh just warms my heart and uh so that's probably my favorite thing about being a plush maker is is seeing people uh, enjoying the, the plushies that I design. I really appreciate the questions and the interest. Thanks for listening. This is Emmy. Hi. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care. I want to give a huge thanks to Emmy Star for being in this interview. Uh, if you want to check out her plushies or what she does, I'll leave a link to her website down below. Uh, the link will be down below if you want to check out um, the plushies, her website. All our social media links in general will be down below for you. So if you want to check anything out again um, with Amy or Corgi Beads in general, uh, be sure to check her out down below. Seriously, these plushies, I will admit, are amazing. This one's a story false, the uh, false, false, yeah, false. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to check out all of Amy, I'll get I'll leave it the link down below. Thank you again everyone for being in this video. Thank you again to Amy. Thank you again just everyone. So feel free to give this a like, subscribe, but it's for always, and it's for always. I bid you again farewell. Oh, that was my husky. <laughs> He's sitting right next to me. I'm sorry. <laughs>